are our greatest weapon of all. First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. It's time we started this. Pain isn't something we thought. All we can ever do for our heroes is remember them. And they gave up two lives. The one they were living in and the one they would have lived. They gave up everything for our country, for us. They pray for freedom and justice. Some veterans not getting the timely care that they need. Less than 1% of Americans serving in uniform. Good news is, is that in recent years, we've made historic investments to boost the VA budget. What is it? Why should we care? We should care about press freedom because... Because we were informed. In democratic societies, free, diverse, and pluralist media enable public debates and are essential checks You don't look power. status. Let's discuss. Welcome to Red to Red podcast, a um, new episode about carpal tunnel syndrome. So if it's your first time listening, then thanks for coming. Um, so carpal tunnel syndrome, it's a common disorder among individuals with a spinal cord injury. Also, carpal tunnel release is highly effective. That procedure may be uh, underutilized in the population. And uh, that's as a reminder that sometimes uh, you get uh, help from, uh, you know, uh, local uh, private doctors and from a big uh, VE system. So that um, procedure might be only available outside the so carpal uh, tunnel syndrome is an uh, entanglement of the median nerve in the wrist that is most commonly associated with repetitive motion. And however, carpal tunnel syndrome may be uh, idiopathic or caused by such diseases as diabetes, uh, hypothyroidism, autoimmune disease, or tumors. Uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, whatever the etiology, is considered to be a type of uh, uh, Mononeuropathy, uh, called depression neuropathy, that results in neurologic signs and symptoms that is, uh, if untreated or treated too late, may lead to permanent weakness and sensory, see, and sensory loss in the hand. As such, it is clearly an uh, organic disease of the nervous system, since peripheral nerves are part of the nervous system. And there is objective evidence of neural, of nerve, of nerve damage. Uh, therefore, carpal tunnel syndrome is considered a presumptive condition under 3.309A or 3.307D. And uh, please note that entitlement should be granted for chronic condition only. For VA purposes, chronic means that the condition has existed for at least uh, for some type for some month, such six months as now. So that's it. That's our topic today, and uh, let's get into the subject. So carpal tunnel s- syndrome describes the condition in which uh, a pinched nerve within the wrist causes numbness, tingling, and weakness throughout the affected hand and arm. The carpal tunnel is the passageway in the palm that protects the main nerve of the hand. When the nerve becomes compressed, it can cause numbness and tingling that eventually can lead to weakness as well as pain. There are many known causes of carpal tunnel syndrome, such as repetitive wrist movement, typically due to occupation, uh, pregnancy, illness, obesity, arthritis, and physical injuries. In several cases, carpal tunnel syndrome stems from work-related causes, such as repetitive hand movement, hand-arm vibration, and long periods of, of remaining in unusual positions. Certain occupations have a higher risk than others, uh, construction workers, musician, uh, musicians, Office workers and assembly line workers are all at high risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome due to the nature of these occupations. Symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. Typically, the symptoms only affect the hand and part of the forearm, but occasionally can move up the shoulder in more severe cases. All parts of the hand besides the little pinky finger tend to become affected. This is because the median nerve doesn't affect the little finger. Pain can vary uh, significantly with each case and becomes more noticeable when attempting to utilize the hand such as gripping gripping or pulling. Numbness, the hand may lose feeling and sensation. People shake out their hands to attempt to relieve this symptom, sometimes with little success. Stiffness, hand muscles feel tight and can't move quickly without pain and discomfort. 
tingling, sometimes referred to as pins and needles, is the sensation of prickling, tickling, or stinging. This sensation is similar to a paresthesia or a limb falling asleep. Weakness, the hand becomes weakened and unable to perform the same. People may drop objects and may not be able to grip or pick up certain objects that they used to. And muscle atrophy, the degeneration of the muscles. Carpal tunnel syndrome degenerates the muscles within, within the hand, especially for the thumb muscles. Now, going into the medical uh, uh, field, carpal tunnel syndrome is also known as a median nerve entrapment at the wrist. So the median nerve is one of the most important nerves in the forearm and hand. It passes through the carpal tunnel in the wrist and thus is a nerve affected uh, in carpal tunnel syndrome. The nerve controls the following movements, turning, turning the forearm up and down, and curling the fingers and bending the hand down at the wrist. The condition of the median, uh, median nerve is rated under one of the following codes with the corresponding ratings. So code 8515 paralysis. If the hand is stuck bent away from the body at the wrist, the middle and index fingers are stuck in extension more than normal, cannot move either down or side to side, the thumb is straight and stuck upright, Next to the index finger, the hand is completely flat, and the muscles at the base of the thumb are atrophied, wasting away. And the palm of the hand cannot be turned to face, fo face downward. It is rated at 70% for the dominant arm and 60% for the non-dominant arm. And complete severe paralysis is rated at 50% for the dominant arm and 40% for the non-dominant. And complete moderate paralysis is rated 30% for the dominant and 20% for the non-dominant. And incomplete mild paralysis is rated at 10% for either arm. Yeah, most of the cases uh, in VA you will be rated at 10%. So some jobs, if you've been sitting at the desk for a long time uh, with a uh, mouse in your hand, uh, and uh, so your hand gets numb, so for that you might be getting 10%. So also, like if you're a sniper and would be getting uh, your finger on the trigger and then your hands get numb which is understandable because you would get in this position sometimes for, I don't know, at least like two hours, maybe 10 hours, yeah. maybe a night. So like uh, those kind of examples that could get you 10% uh, for sure. Yeah. Um, code 8615, neuritis of the median nerve at this condition causes severe symptoms. It's rated at 50% for the dominant and 40% for the non-dominant arm. If it causes moderate symptoms, it's rated 40% for the dominant and 30% for the non-dominant arm. And mild symptoms is 10% for either arm. Uh, code 8715, neuralgia of the median nerve. Neuralgia cannot be rated higher than moderate even if it's considered severe. If the condition is moderate, it is rated 30% for the dominant and 20% for the non-dominant. If it's mild, it is rated 10% for either arm. Make sure to check to see if a higher rating can be given under limited motion of the wrist, code 5215, or limited motion of the fingers, code 5228, or 5230. If the condition is best rated as limited motion, then the final code would look like 8615-5228. The first four-digit number is which, whichever of the three nerve codes the condition best fits under, paralysis, neur uh, neur neuritis, or neuralgia. And the second is the limited motion code where it is rated. The ulnar nerve is one of the largest nerves in the arm. It passes behind the elbow, the funny bone, and through the wrist to the little finger and little and ring fingers. It does not affect some movement of the other fingers, but normally, but normal, uh, normally damage the nerve only affects the little and ring finger. This is the nerve that hurts when you hit your funny bone. This nerve controls the following movements, curling the fingers and bending the hand down at the wrist, lifting the hand upward at the wrist, and opening and closing the fingers. A condition of the ulnar nerve is rated under the following conditions with the corresponding ratings. Uh, code 86, uh, 8516, paralysis of the ulnar nerve, complete paralysis. If the ring and little fingers are permanently curled towards 
towards the palm and the other fingers and thumbs are straight and can no longer be spread apart or can no longer close toward uh, close together. The wrist could not fully bend in the bend the hand downward and the muscles between the fingers and the base of the thumb are atrophied. It is rated 60% for the dominant and 50 for the non-dominant arm. And complete severe paralysis is rated at 40% and 30% for the non-dominant arm. Incomplete moderate paralysis is rated 30% for the dominant arm and 20% for the non-dominant arm. And incomplete mild paralysis is rated 10% for either arm. Code 8616 neuritis of the ulnar nerve. If the condition causes severe symptoms, it is rated 40% for the dominant arm and 30% for the non-dominant arm. If it causes moderate symptoms, it is rated 30% for the dominant arm and 20% for the non-dominant. Mild symptoms is 10% for either arm. Code 8716 uh, neuralgia, neuralgia of the ulnar nerve cannot be rated higher than moderate even if it's considered severe. If the condition is moderate, it is rated 30% for the dominant and 20% for the non-dominant. If it is mild, it is rated 10% for either arm. So make sure to check to see if a higher rating can be given under limited motion of the wrist code 5215 or limited motion of the finger codes the 5228 or 5230. If the condition is best rated as a limited motion, a limited limitation of motion, then the final code will look like 8616-5228. The first four digit number is whichever of the three nerve codes the condition best fits under paralysis, neuritis, or neuralgia. And the second is the limited motion code where it is rated. Yep, guys, that's pretty much it for um, carpal syndrome. Um, not a difficult topic, pretty straightforward. And as always, at the end, uh, so do you have any um, information, resource, book, movie, stuff to recommend? Stranger Things 2. What is that? Uh, that show on Netflix. Hmm. Uh, it's second season. You guys haven't seen the first season. I don't know what the hell y'all doing, but the second <laughs> season is out, so <laughs> you need to check that out. Uh, all right. So, um, quotes of what's the reason of the day? I tremble for my country when I hear of confidence expressed in me. I know too well my weakness, that our only hope is in God. Only hope is in God, said by Robert E. Lee. That's it, folks. Thanks for listening. Until next time, over and out. Thank you.